Ang digmaan ay may hangganan. Ang paghihirap ay may katapusan. Ngunit ang sugat na dulot nito ay maaring manatili sa isipan. Para kay retired Army Corporal Winston Ragos, ang naging anyo ng sugat na ito ay PTSD o Post Traumatic Stress Disorder. Ano nga ba ang karamdamang ito? PTSD is a post traumatic stress disorder. It's a mental health condition that is triggered by a terrifying event. For example, na baril, na saksak, di ba? Pinatay. Either you know you experience it, you witness it. This can be very traumatic and terrifying to a person. PTSD is common to our military since we are all exposed to the combat. The operations, encounters, and ambushes. Signs and symptoms, inclusive thoughts of the memories of the traumatic event. It always comes back. They have the avoidance. Umiiwas na sila to the anything that is related to the event na nangyari. And of course, nandun din yung mga arousal symptoms. Nandun yung sobrang magugulatin sila. That could, uh, we could relate that yung kakaroon sila ng mga odd behaviors and of course, nandun na yung mga aggression. And sadly, isa sa mga uh, comorbidities kasi ng PTSD is yung anxiety, depression, that could sometimes lead to suicide. Sometimes it can be inherited, uh, such as may family history siya na anxiety or depression. It's how the brain of the person uh, works by regulating yung mga chemicals at hormones sa katawan niya na nagre-release ng mga response to stress. Nagsimula ang PTSD ni Winston isang dekada na ang nakalilipas. Umpisa pa lamang ng kanyang pagsisilbi sa Philippine Army. Uh, the late Corporal Winston Ragos uh, was uh, enlisted in uh, 2010 and he was first assigned in the 31st uh, Infantry Battalion uh, based in Bicol region. In one of his uh, mission as part of the Peace and Development Team, there was an encounter and uh, because of that encounter, uh, then Private Dragos uh, experienced traumatic uh, occurrence. His first confinement in Viluna happened and that was about November of the same year. He had uh, black stairs, he was hearing auditory signals, Pitong buwada confined sa ospital sa Winston. Ito di umano ang karaniwang itinatagal ng paggamot sa mga sundalong may PTSD. Gumaling si Winston sa tulong ng psychotherapy, family therapy at medication. But in 2014, when he was returned to duty in the 65th Infantry Battalion, within two months of his assignment, probably because of the existence of combat in the area, his uh, symptoms returned. So again, he was uh, confined uh, at Viluna and he was again treated. So after he got well, um, uh, then uh, PFC Ragos uh, was returned to duty, but he was no longer assigned in combat because of the peculiarity of his case. He was assigned in the headquarters service company to do headquarters duty, uh, and a lot of it is non-combat. Sa kasawi ang palad, Marso ng taong 2016, ay bumalik ang mga sintomas ni Winston. Siya ay tuluyang hindi na gumaling sa kabila ng muling paggamot. Enero ng taong 2017, siya ay binigyan ng Certificate of Disability Discharge mula sa Philippine Army. Dahil itinuring na siyang isang war veteran, patuloy na nagpagamot si Winston sa tulong ng Veterans Memorial Medical Center sa Quezon City. Naodlot lamang ito nung lumala ang sitwasyon ng COVID-19 sa Pilipinas. 
Nagtala ang Philippine Army ng dalawampung kumpirmadong kaso ng PTSD sa AFP Medical Center matapos ang digbaan sa Marawi noong 2017. Bagamat madalas maranasan ang negatibong damdamin at trauma pagkatapos ng bakbakan, agad naman daw itong tinutugunan sa mga military unit. We have what you call debriefing, we talk about the traumatic experience that just occurred. So as you know, as soldiers, we are often faced with violence, encounters, explosions, gunfight. Kapag nagpatuloy pa rin ang mga sintomas na ito, nagbibigay ang Philippine Army ng karagdagang pangtulong. But sometimes if the, in those interventions do not work, uh, psychologists will come in and they will be part of the debriefing. If those uh, interventions don't work, Uh, and symptoms continue to escalate, then that's a time they will be sent to a facility, which is Biluna. Uh, and then Biluna will now uh, intervene with psychotherapy, family therapy, because family is important in, uh, in healing uh, traumatic experience and medicine. Dahil sensitibo ang usapin ng PTSD, walang opisyal na dato sa mga developing cases sa Philippine Army. Sa kabila nito, higit pa sa siyam na pong porsyento ng mga kumpirmadong kaso ang bumubuti at bumabalik sa active duty. At ang nalalabing hindi na gumagaling ay binibigyan ng Certificate of Disability Discharge. Ito ang naging kapalaran ni Winston. Ang lahat ng sundalo sa Philippine Army ay sumasa ilalim sa neuropsychiatric test pagpasok sa serbisyo. Kada tatlong taon, at bago ma-promote. Hangat ngayon ng Philippine Army na paigtingin pa ang kanilang mental health programs. Aside from our existent na mental health programs, isa sa mga plan namin is to recruit psychologists so that they would be embedded to the smaller units we have, 15 sa buong Philippine Army. At present, we only have two psychiatrists in the Philippine Army. Pero may mga nag-training kami sa Vilina. We are also looking of having a move to different mental institution uh, near the, place of, the places of our soldiers all over the Philippines. Bagamat sa sundalo madalas na iuugnay ang PTSD, mahalagang tandaan na hindi lamang sila ang nakararanas nito. Hindi lang ito nangyayari sa mga sundalo. Anything that is traumatic in itself, in event, can cause a person, you know, to have PTSD. People of all ages, ito. PTSD also happens to children who are victims of uh, physical abuse or sexual violence or anything that's traumatic, be it natural disaster. Being threatened, you know, kware, tutukan ka ng barel with a military uniform or not, ano bang exposure niya? Ano bang resiliency factor niya? Ano ba ang support na kukuha niya? Yan ang importante. Sa usapin ng PTSD, ang exposure ay tumutukoy sa pagharap o pagdanas ng tao ng traumatikong pangyayari. Ang psychological resilience ay tumutukoy sa mental o emosyonal na kapasidad na kayanin ang isang krisis o bumalik sa kalagayan bago mangyari ang isang krisis. At ang support ay tumutukoy sa tulong na nakukuha mula sa mga mahal sa buhay at sa mental health professional. Mental health issues like the PTSD should not also be uh, disregarded. Sa ating mga Filipinos, hindi nila masyado naintindihan nila ito eh. They confuse this with uh, nag-OA lang siya, nag-iinapte lang siya, nilipas din yan. Just like how they also deal with anxiety and depression. We are just doing our baby steps in arresting or uh, dealing with our mental health issues. It's better than not doing anything at all. At dahan-dahan na bubuksan na tayo because of the mental health bill, dahan-dahan na bubuksan ang isipan ng mga tao sa mga nangyayari araw-araw. Ang mga nakasanayang pananaw at stigma sa usapin ng mental health ay itinuturong dahilan kung bakit walang komprehensibong datos patungkol sa PTSD dito sa bansa. Kasama na rin dito ang pagkukulang sa proseso ng data gathering sa bansa. For years and years, I've been asking for data. In the Philippines, yan ang mahina natin. As I can see naman, slowly naman our government is stepping up to improve our system. But sometimes, you know, you don't even know the people beside you working with you. You don't know. You might think they are okay. But you may not know they are experiencing PTSD. Because sometimes, some people can cover them up. So our data talaga gathering is very, very poor. Sometimes uh, they are not interested to do it. 
uh, okay, hindi nila nare-report or they are ignorant to what is really going around. Maging sa isang mundong nakatutok ngayon sa COVID-19, hindi pa rin maaring baliwalain ang PTSD. In fact, our frontliners right now who are exposed to the COVID-19, who are seeing death in front of them, who are seeing the threat of their life in front of them or their loved ones, can is already experiencing PTSD. Sa katunayan, ang takot na dulot ng COVID-19 ay maari pang magpalubha ng karanasan ng PTSD. They feel that the world is not a safe place to live in. They feel that this, there's always a threat to their life. They're always on guard. Ayan, they're always on guard. Ito marahil ang dahilan kung bakit nakitaan ng dahas si Winston sa pagharap niya sa mga pulis. Much as they want to understand, they cannot eh. Kasi hindi sila makakonsentrate. People with PTSD cannot concentrate. So if you're telling them about the news and everything, nahihirapan sila. They avoid thinking of things that will traumatize them. We hope that the tragic event that of Corporal Ragos uh, is an awakening for everyone. That PTSD is real and that they need our help and understanding. Uh, you can identify and then you can make the right assessment before you do any action. Uh, I hope that the police officer is also equipped to identify so that his um, response or reaction would have been appropriate to the sickness that was Uh, that corp- the late Corporal Ragos had at that time. May paraan pa ring mamuhay ng normal ang mga nakararanas ng PTSD. Kailangan lamang nilang sumailalim sa angkop na therapy at medication. Mahalaga rin ang higit na pag-intindi at suporta ng kanila mga mahal sa buhay. Yes, they can always lead a normal life. Why not? With the right therapy, with the right therapist, yes. But again, we have to understand kailangan ba siya ma-medicate? Because sometimes they need to be medicated like antidepressant or anxiety medication. There are psychotherapy which we do, like the CBT, helping them their thoughts or exposing the, the, the behavioral therapy. But again, dapat sila na intindihan din nila na may responsibilidad sila to take care of themselves. What are things they can do? For example, you can get a piece of paper. Sige, isulat natin what are the things you can control and not control. Don't tell them that this too shall pass. Don't even stigmatize it by saying, ikaw lang yun. Isip-isip mo lang yun. The worst thing to say is, this is the will of the Lord. There are so many ways so that they can go back to their normal way of life. Huwag baliwalain ang mga sintomas ng PTSD. Tandaan na maaari itong madevelop kahit gaano pakatagal ang lumipas matapos ang isang traumatikong pangyayari. Kung ikaw o ang iyong kakilala ay nakararanas ng sintomas ng PTSD, maaring maghanap ng ekspertong malalapitan gamit ang mga listahan ng silakbo.ph at psychreg.org. Sa pamamagitan ng taus-pusong pag-intindi at pagtulong sa ating kapwa, ang kwento ng mga humaharap sa PTSD ay hindi kailangang matapos sa diagnosis, sintomas o trahedya. Ako po si Sandra Aguinaldo para sa GMA News.